Okbela, city in a valley, rich in minerals and popular for its limestones. Home to one of Nigeria's finest cement producers. Like a diamond in the rough and commanding the skyline of the valley. Behold, Dangote Cement, Okbela. Another bold and audacious move of the Dangote Group. At completion, this factory will increase the Dangote productivity capacity to 41 million metric tons per annum in Nigeria alone, making the Dangote Group the undisputed king of cement. The first was an ideal site to set up the factory for a number of reasons. One, nearness to the raw material deposits with limestone, the wood limestone. Secondly, nearness to water supply. There is the Obu River, which is also close by. It causes a number of factors. And management approved that the factory should be set, uh, established or built in this particular location. This makeshift laterite road leads to the plant. It's a long winding stretch. Sinoma had to debush 7.5 kilometers of forest to get to the project location. The road that they are constructing from the express that to Obago is a road that, we are, that they are constructing to where Dagote is going to build the cement factory in Okwela. The road is, is a place that we open up uh, to many of our people that are farmers, that are farming there, it's easy there to bring their commodity back to the town. And two, when the Dagote start uh, the factory, it will absorb, it will employ most of our boys, our boys, I guess, in the community. When Dangote came, they reported to the former, the late clan head of Okula, the Surya Majesty Alahaji, AYE Dirisu, JP, the Okula, Bro of Okula, that they were here to prospect for uh, limestone because they are into cement making. So the then Okupula, the late Okupula gave them a letter to enter the bush of Inuk Okupula and prospect. So eventually, when they came to us, we obeyed that letter and allowed Dangote to go into our bush. All this area was forest. There was no access to this place actually. Uh, we had to get our company surveyors and uh, some local labor workers. We all worked together to create these roads. Sinoma International Engineering Company is one of the world's largest cement engineering system integration supplier in the world. Then the civil works began.
This $1 billion, 6 million metric tons per annum factory, along with its mine, was to occupy about 1,000 hectares of land. The mine is better seen than described. Observing with optimism were the indigents of Okwela. The Dangote project is 100 times bigger than what we knew about before. So which automatically, this is uh, 10 times more than what uh, we, we experienced. So my people were happy. We know they are very big company. We need them in Okwela so that they can impact industrialization in my area that uh, we know how he has been doing for other areas. We are like Lekki, different areas in the north where you have sugarcane and so on. So we also have such area, very rich soil, rich area with the mineral resources and everything. This factory is a clinker cement dry processing plant. Its journey starts at the mines. Experts believe these limestone deposits will last for over 100 years. This site is gradually taking shape. This 400 hectares space will house the crushing plant. The crushed limestone and laterite clay is then transported on this conveyor all the way to these massive warehouses. A crushed mix of limestone and laterite clay in appropriate measurements is then forwarded to the raw mill. In the raw mill, the crushed mix will be blended and fed into this preheater where it is heated to 900 degrees Celsius through these cyclones. The amount of details on this preheater is amazing. When it's done, it goes into this rotary kiln where it's further heated to 1450 degrees Celsius. It is said that the kiln is the heart of the manufacturing process as this is where the crushed mix is turned into the raw materials for cement called the clinker. The clinker is then cooled to 65 degrees Celsius in the coolers and passed to the cement mill. In this cement mill, gypsum is introduced to the clinker where the cement is now ready. dry process, everything, most of the energy you consume is in a size reduction. That is, you blast, you crush, you mill, you nodulize in your uh, king reactor, and then you, you, you mill again into fine powder, which is your cement. 
So it's quite easy. It's quite pleasant. Over 2,000 engineers are involved in this project with a collective work experience of over 20,000 years of building cement plants. We started this project from the original forest, and then it became a modern construction plant that has a modern construction plant. In this construction process, we have worked with the local community, with the local landowners, and with the local landowners. In this process, we have worked with the local landowners, 呃，我们除了使用了很多中国员工之外，除了使用了一部分中国员员工之外，我们在当地使用了超过一千五百号当地员工，他们中中有很多优秀的呃员工，是优秀的一些，比如说像优秀的焊工、优秀的瓦工、优秀的木工、优秀的司机，然后这个当地员工的这个当地员工的这个这个参加，给这个新的项目的建设注入了很多活力。As the sun rises every morning, gradually setting its light on this massive project, the human energy of activity manifests with diverse skill sets. It's a regimented work schedule for the engineers. This Shinoma colony tells the story. 11.30 a.m. It's break time. Twelve thirty PM, it's back to work. Pockets of activity everywhere. The attention to details can't be missed. About four kilometers away, overshadowed by the plant, is a small Fulani settlement. A postcard of where the old meets the new. Amina and her brother Shehu share their impact of the factory on their community. Then no no, long go to wala ko ni, wala ko to iwa tajuri na iwa dinj ko iwa dinj ay to iwa ta ko ina. They got the money on their ayik imagine, their ayik long go to. That iwa long go to come find this place, then come my house, so then they find this place. But they call me, when I help them to check, locate this bush. As we come, we carry them, we locate this bush. We and show them where, how the bush is be. Before we reach where we do 
പാട്ടുകൾ Being a local security to the factory, one of Shehu's jobs is to ensure that the cement stored in this cement silos is left untampered. The finished cement is then moved to this packing plant where the cement is then packaged for the customer. This factory is not sitting on a single pile. The unique rocky formation of the location had provided a natural foundation. The cement plant would produce 150,000 bags of cement per day. In Nigeria alone, we have a population of about 200 million. Look at the per capita consumption of uh, cement in Nigeria today. It's quite low. Uh, that means that we still need to do more in order to make the cement to put at the reach of the forests of the poor. By the time this plant is complete, over 56,000 tons of cement would have been used, an equivalent of 1,120,000 bags of cement. 59,000 metric tons of steel, enough to build the Niger Bridge six times over. And 1,100 kilometers of cable, a driving distance of about Lagos to Yobe State. From the very first day we started work here, we, the company employed uh, some local workers too, engineers, technicians, and some and a few happy hands you know, from the community. They started this project with us, and we have consistently worked today as a, a family. Since uh, the Dagote Okpela Cement Company came into existence in Okpela, uh, a lot of people have benefited from it. Like I'm talking to you now, they gave me the supply of sharp sand and the petit petit contract, which I did. They paid me and I used the money to uh, support my business. What the man has brought to the community is a big something that the, the unborn children will benefit tomorrow. This plant is going to generate its own power from this power generating complex, powered by these two steam turbine generators, generating 30 megawatts of power each, enough to power the whole of Lagos Island. We are actually here to install the power plant, to produce power for cement plant. Uh, this is uh, supplied by Thermax. India Limited and uh, this is just two unit of power plant is called dual fuel power. We are using coal and another fuel. This is 30 megawatt power plant, two units. This make it 60 megawatt. If you say, if uh, if you say the half of the Lagos, uh, you know Lagos, you know Lagos, uh, the consumption is high. So half of the Lagos we can cover with this uh, this power plant. As the sun powers down on the plant, the warm and colorful images of sunset turns the city of Okwela to a canvas of expressions. It is estimated that by the time the plant commences operations, it will create over 6,000 jobs.
It will also further increase the $3 billion the country has been saving from import substitution. It is no surprise that the people of Okpela expressed their appreciation to the Dangote Group. I am even thanking the Dangote and the entire Dangote company for what they brought to Okpela. I thank God as we don't bring up everything here, we thank God for them. If they are doing good, we can't fight them. And the way we see them, they are doing good. As at now, and we want them to do, continue to be good. So they are not bad to us, we can't be bad to them. We need them so much. I will use this opportunity to pray for him more again, so that uh, the, the, what the project he has started, may he, be, may he be able to complete it. We want to say that we have had the fullest cooperation from the Okomunyo community who are our hosts. As a company that truly believes in its passion for touching the lives of Nigerians, the Dangote Group will continue to invest in Nigeria and her people. <laughs>